Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Cory, aka Crasher, here with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are going to be diving into episode 75 of Pokemon Horizons, and based on the preview of this episode, this episode is going to be containing some flashback storytelling between the three OG explorers, Lucius, Ristol, and Gibeon. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed just here in today's video, make sure you guys thumbs up the like button and subscribe. We do the sort of thing every single week that there is a brand new episode of Pokemon Horizons. Without further ado, strap yourselves in and say along with me if you guys are ready and down with the hype. Hey, yo! All right, let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Please, Miss Ristol, tell us. All about you and the other explorers. And about Rockwell. Oh, jumping right into it. No recap from last week. Those days are still with us, as vivid as ever. <sighs> Man, my heart's pounding. The explorers have ventured to seek Rockwa. Dude, I'm like pumped up. I am absolutely pumped up. Man. I can't wait. I can't wait for this. The entrusted future. The gleam of this world. Hey. Oh, here we go. All right. Someone's... Oh, wait. That, that was Ristol running. It, why are, are there people chasing after her? They, they probably want what she's holding. And all well, the crooks lost her. You take that way. Oh, wait. Never mind. They're splitting up. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Hold it. Who is that in that cloak? Uh-oh. Nowhere to run now. Give up and hand it over already. Uh-oh. Don't worry. I'll protect you. I'll never let you have it. Let's see if we can't change your mind. How very troubling. What? Uh-oh. Oh. There's Lucius. Yes. What's your problem? Stay out of this. Hasn't anybody told you that taking someone else's Pokemon makes you a thief? Stop it! Sick em, boys. I see. I'll play along. Oh! Oh! Busting out the shoddy Rayquaza! We ain't got a chance! Yeah, y you guys better run. Hmm? You didn't want to battle then. Rayquaza, the legendary! Oh, Terrapicos is all happy. Oh, isn't that a Terrapicos? Terra. You know about Pagogo here? It's my first time seeing one. Where did you get it? Well, that Terrapicos is <laughs> quite enamored to the uh, the shiny Rayquaza there. So that little one's quite rare, so folk like them are always after it. But you've kept it safe. Oh my god, that's actually quite adorable. Terrapicos knowing no fear. Approaching <laughs> that big shiny Rayquaza. First time I've seen someone not be scared of Rayquaza. And it's even, like, playing on top of his head. <laughs> that was how I met Lucius. So that's their meeting story. A rescue. Alright. At some point, a fellow named Heather made record of Terrapagos. Terrapagos. Yup. You'll always be Pagogo to me. I, I love that nickname, Pagogo. Most people dismiss that book as mere nonsense, but I believed in Heather's words. I believe that Terrapicos really do exist, and then you actually met one. So there you go! I'm glad to have believed him. <laughs> That's so good. Lucius, what are you adventuring for? I want to find... The beauty of this world. It's Gleam. I want to see a world nobody's seen before. Meet Pokemon nobody's met before. That's why I'm seeking Rockwa. Rockwa, just like the Pokemon Paradise from Fairy Tales. Rockwa definitely exists. You really believe it? Naturally. Terrapicos really do exist. So Rockwa must as well. His eyes are just gleaming. Hey, I want to go to Rockwa too. Huh? I also want to find it. The gleam of this world. Yup. The gleam of the world, baby. Oh, man. And there they are. Flying with the shiny Rayquaza. And there's where the... Okay. 
So that's where they're in they've also encountered the six heroes as well. Wow. So along the way, he loved Pokemon from the bottom of his heart. So along the way, but with Risto and Lucius. Wow, man. Yes? If you know anything, please do tell me. Hey, mister. You actually believe in Rockwa? Naturally. Oh, he must be kidding. A grown man still believing in Rockwa? What's so strange about that? We mean business, you know. Now, now, Ristol. <laughs> We're free to believe in whatever we want, aren't we? Well, yes. <laughs> oh, my. Oh! And there's Gibeon! And he's got a big scroll. Here is every record I've examined pertaining to Rockwa, plus verification of data points derived from the legend, as well as numerous theories. Educate yourselves before you stoop to mockery. Oh, he ain't effing around. You got a big ass scroll there. Seriously, can Rockwa too? Indeed. I've no doubt that so called mythical paradise is home to something monumental. Then why don't you come with us? And that's how Gibeon enters the fold, I guess. That man gave his name as Gibeon. And wait, what type of Pokeball is that? Oh, he, wait! He already has a shiny Zygarde. He was similar to Lucius in many respects. They won each other's approval. The three of us became friends and our adventure continued together. Oh man, how about the explorers? Suggesting those who pursue, hmm? Not a bad fit. It's great, sounds cool. He's quite formal with his language here. Yes, all for one and one for all. We, the explorers, would have Pokemon lend us their aid. And at the end of our long adventure, we've reached Rockwa. So, you managed to reach Ro Rockwa together. My heart was racing just listening to that. Dude, my heart's racing too. Miss Ristol. Wait, by reaching Rockwa, we made our dreams come true. But we never imagined what it would lead to. Uh-oh, what it would lead to? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, this this don't sound too good. So we have ourselves a lot of wild poke. Oh! It's the Lottie Twins! Latios and Latias! And look over there! A Terrakion? So many legendary Pokemon and all so relaxed. I see the three Kanto birds! It's truly wonderful. But what could have created such a bountiful environment? Yeah, I'd like to know. Holy. Let's head deeper in. They are in a legendary paradise. Dude. This area seems a lot rougher. Do the nutrients in the soil vary from place to place? No. Every tree here looks to have been larger at some point in the past. What do you mean? This area once flourished just as much. But it seems to have then suddenly withered away. Oh? Something strange about this. Yeah, I would like to know the- Oh, wow. Things definitely look ravaged here. God dang. Oh, wait. That pink gl Is that the Rakorium there? What is that? Some sort of crystal. That's gotta be the Rakorium, and Terrapagos doesn't like it. Uh-oh. Wait, Gibeon. Gibeon, what are you doing, baby? I took out a little test tube, and... It holds an astounding amount of energy. Entirely beyond the capability of any known ore. But why does Terrapagos not like it? Why is there, like, a bad feeling? These crystals cause the plants around it to grow. So, is the special boon that makes Rockwa so bountiful? Our special burn, perhaps. We should leave. Meddling with the energy beyond the laws of nature is too dangerous. I think it would be best for us to leave Rockwa. And pretend we never saw this? Gibeon, surely you can understand. If we stay, there's no telling what effect it will have on us. Uh-oh, you're right, let's go. Let's head back to base camp for now. Okay. Uh. 
Yeah, that rock was giving off some bad juju here, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, it's starting to rain. It's starting to rain. Bristol, have you seen Gibeon? Wait. Gibeon didn't come back? Now that you mention it. Oh, wait. What was it? What? That came from where we found the crystals. Why is the ground rumbling and tumbling? Okay, there's Rayquaza. Okay, okay. We should go to Pagogo. Oh, this is not good. This is not good, baby. Wait! Gibeon didn't leave after all! Gibeon, I urge you to reconsider. Ask me as many times as you please. Uh-oh. You will not change my mind. This isn't something humans were meant to control. Don't you understand, Lucius? This blessing of energy beyond human comprehension has eternal possibilities. Zygarde, dig up even more. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is not good. This is not good. It truly is paradise. Rakwa and I, I found it. What in the hell, Gibeon? This is bad. Yes, no kidding. No kidding. Oh. Wait a second. What are, what's going on with the trees? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, the Pokemon... Oh, the Pokemon are starting to go ballistic. That's the effects of rock of the Rockorium. And there's Terrapicos... Protecting Rustle, and their skull pit. Whoa, Zygarde, what even is this stuff? If it keeps spreading, it won't just stop ro at Rockwa. It could well cover the entire world. If that happens, yeah, everything is gonna wither. It would destroy the world. This is not good. Oh, wait a second. We got the others of the six heroes. Guys! The six heroes that, that Relucius encountered along the way! Galarian Moltres. We will make sure that Rakwa. Let's go, everyone! Oh, man. Okay, we got our Bolova! Galarian Moltres! Lapras! And th they're attacking the Rakorium! They're probably, like, gonna separate it, like, segregate it. And, no, that's... It. Then, Rayquaza. I was gonna say, that didn't work. It looks like it, it was glowing. But now we got the Draco Meteor here. Is that gonna be enough? Uh, 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 no. Uh, that answer was very obvious, very quick. Magnificent. Power that renews without end. So it regenerates and... What's wrong, Zygarde? Uh, um, Zygarde, what's it? Why is it unleashing its cells? What are you doing, Zygarde? <coughs> Stop it. You would betray me? What is it doing? It stopped. Wait, there's a 10%. What? Wait a second. That The cells didn't work. Whoa, whoa, wait. Gibeon fell down the chasm. This isn't over. Okay, what? This just escalated to a thousand million. Oh my god. I want to protect everyone too. Okay. Oh. Terrapicos is glowing. Wait. It's become its stellar form. Wait a second. What is it doing? Wait. It turned... Okay, we got some big time orb and crystal action. Thank you, everyone. Leave this to me. Wait, no, Lucius! I won't die. I promise you, I will live on with Rockwa. And we'll, we will meet again. No! He's sacrificing himself! I want to help! I want to believe in the future. I want you to protect our future. Oh, shit, Lucius. Lucius! Oh, my God. Holy shit. Hey, wait! There is a, a piece of pendant that, ju that just 
So that's how the pennant came to be! From that big, big crystal ball that encases the, the Rockorium. Oh. My God. I left Rockwood to protect this little one inside of me. I, sim I expected to simply forget it all. If anyone ever knew of our adventure, there would be more tragedies at Rockwa. Which is why. I don't intend to tell this little one about Lucius. What? I don't need to be remembered. If Layla can grow up healthy, if she can be a link to the future to prove that Lucius and I lived, that's all I need. Oh! Wait! Layla opens her eyes! That's, that's cute. I'm sorry. I did want to go looking for all of you. But I see you ended up finding them instead. The Kanto region, the Paldea region, the Galar region, the Kitakami hamlet. Yup. We found them in a, a lot of different places. All of them cherishing the monster balls Lucius caught them in. Yup. I see. You still hope to keep your promise to Lucius. I mean, their loyalty knows no bounds. Lucius was, like, very special to them. Every time I've seen Lucius... Those must have been things Terapico saw back when it was with Miss Ristol. Yeah, memories! Pagogo, I had worried you might never turn back. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's, it's a cute little Terapicos! I'm so happy you did! Miss Ristol, please tell us. Where exactly is Rockwa? Well, we had been adrift at sea for several days. And Raquaza and the others lent us their aid so we could reach it. So I don't know exactly where it was. And partway through the journey back, I was rescued by a big ship. Guess we'll just have to find it ourselves then. Wow. Gibeon might know. But I don't know what became of him after that. Um, about Gibeon. Oh, wait. Wait, she's glowing. Sadly, it seems this is goodbye. No! Wait, I still... Liko, Diana... And all of your friends. No! Thank you! I'm glad I got to see Pagogo one last time. You're all part of the future that Lucius protected. I'm glad I got to see this. No! C d don't leave! Lika, look after Pagogo for me. Huh? I can tell just by looking at you. Pagogo's partner, Liko. That's you now. Thank you, Pagogo. Oh no, Lucius, Ristol is gone! Oh, poor Terapagos. Oh my god. That, I feel really sad for Terapagos. Like, I, I just feel sad for the situation in general. Don't cry, Terapagos. I'll take you to Rockwa. I'll grant your wish, man. That is some heavy, heavy shit, man. Terapagos. What's Terapagos saying? What? Terapagos. Liko. Oh, wait! Wait! Freed! Hold on! He's holding a Pokeball! Wait! Hold on! What? Is Liko gonna actually catch Terapagos and make it officially her own? Miss Ristol, Lucius, Grandma too, and Mother. Thank you for giving me the chance to meet Terapagos, the Pokemon of Wonders. So wait! Terapagos has officially been caught by Liko, baby! Dude! Are you kidding? So... Terapagos has officially been caught by Liko. Oh, man. The, it's official. It is official, baby. Liko has caught Terapagos. You're really leaving? You can stay with us again. Now, nah, my adventure with the pendant is over now. Oh, Diane is taken off too? I can't believe Lucius and Rustle were my grandpa and grandma. What an astounding tale I stumbled upon. 
Yeah, one for the freaking ages. You really didn't know, Grandma? Of course I didn't know. My mother Layla told me that her own mother died young. But how did Bristol pass on, though? Like, what happened? I leave the rest of you in the Rising Volt Tacklers. I'll keep on adventuring, going wherever my heart takes me. That's just like you. But I'll be racing right over if you're ever in a bind. Well, then I'm off. Diana's one badass grandma. Never ever forget it, baby. Especially with that Arcanine. Man. So, Terrapagos is Liko's official third Pokemon. That pink crystal Miss Ristol mentioned. That has to be the Rakorium. As for how Rock was doing these days, guess we'll just have to see with our own eyes. Which is why we need to find the rest of the six heroes. Entei and the Black Rayquaza. But where do we start on either of them? Oh. So wait. Figured something out? Nope, not a thing. But when you don't know something, it's best to ask someone. That's right, Sodayo. We can ask him. Huh? Wait. Wait! Hold on! What? Oh, there's Spinel and there's Umbreon! And there's Chels! You're quite the zealous one! Please, do take care not to allow Hamber to sniff us out. I will not slip, though one thing does concern me. So there- Amithio. He hasn't been seen since he was taken off missions. He's most likely pursuing his own goals. So now they're plotting against Hammer as well? He just doesn't know when to give up. The one to reach Rockwa with Master Gibeon will be me. To be continued. There's Gibeon and the shiny 10% Zygarde. My god. What a freaking episode this was. Are you kidding me? Dude, I am... Speechless. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's evaluation time. Let's get into my post-reaction thoughts about episode 75 of Pokemon Horizons and Man Oh Man Alive. What a freaking story. What an episode. So first things first, we actually had ourselves a good glimpse of what Rockwa is. And it is basically a paradise where Pokemon of all sorts of shapes, sizes, and statuses come to live freely. And what I mean by statuses is even legendary Pokemon are seen there too. So as the explorers were exploring Rockwa, we ended up seeing something that wasn't quite right. And that would be the fact that the further in they went to Rockwa, the more that we started to notice decay and it was just not really giving off a good vibe and that was because of the Rockorium. That's right ladies and gentlemen, this special ore that has eternal capabilities was the cause for all of this in the first place. And Gibeon got way too enamored when it came to his curiosity of the Rockorium. That right there was where it all went wrong. And on the note of Gibeon, he actually got exposed to the Rockorium's gases. And because he also said eternal possibilities, I guess that right there explains why he is still alive today. Is because of the exposure to the Rockorium. And on the note of the exposure to the Rockorium, we saw once again that when Pokemon got exposed to the Rockorium, they went berserk. And Gibeon's biggest mistake was getting Zygarde to attempt to excavate more of it, and that just led to complete and utter chaos. Despite the best efforts of Lucius and the Six Heroes, and even Gibeon's own Zygarde to try and suppress the rage of the Rockorium, well, that right there was not enough. So, thanks to Terrapicos and its abilities to encase the chaos in the crystal, that right there was unfortunately where Lucius met his end by sacrificing himself. So we know about the fate of Lucius, and that right there just adds a lot more weight, a lot more bulk to this story here, and I cannot wait to see how we progress further. So... 
as it stands right now, we have two heroes remaining. Entei and Shiny Rayquaza. So now we fast forward to the current time where Liko and company are at Crystal Pool talking to Ristol. Unfortunately, she ended up having to depart once again, which left Terrapico's heart broken, and I felt genuinely bad for Terrapico's. I have never seen such a cute little turtle crystal thingy shed so many tears. However, Liko ended up officially making the capture. We have ourselves Liko now officially Terrapico's trainer, thanks to Freed handing her a Pokeball to make the capture. That is absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to see how that is going to go. We also got a scene at the very end of the episode featuring the Explorers being Chalce and Spinel. They were up to something, and Chalce was concerned about Hamber finding out what they were up to, so... My senses are on very, very high alert when it comes to Spinel, especially. So I'm going to go ahead and give this episode a 9 out of 10. Overall, this episode was excellent. I came into this episode with all of my expectations met. However, how they played out the backstory, seeing it all unfold, the chaos, the beauty... Everything was truly spectacular, and the coup de grace to this episode would be the fact that Liko officially made her third capture, that being Terrapicos. So what are your guys' thoughts and opinions about episode 75 of Pokemon Horizons? How would you score this episode out of 10, and what stuck out to you guys the most? Whatever your thoughts and opinions happen to be, ladies and gentlemen, I always love to hear back from you amazing legends in the comments down below. And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen, so I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing, and especially comment your thoughts down below, because I love hearing from you guys. Always have, that will never ever change. So thanks again for watching, have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone, and I'll see you guys in the next one.